Uh, looks like the most southernmost we're going to get is uh, Team X in Impala. And uh, about five seconds till we figure out where C1's going to be. Uh, LG going to Crudevalle, and it looks like Synergy going to Tierra Bronca, as neither of my choices are ever going to get picked. And it looks like we're hanging out around that Impala Fields and Bendita here. With the shots now coming out from E United, this looks like they're leaning opposite side of the hill. This is ambitious, keeping Corsac here by himself. Yeah, I don't know how. This feels greedy. Now Corsac is taking those shots. Is it going to be enough to push them away? It looks like there's a commitment coming out. And there you go. Good shot come out. Finn is on the other side of it. And that's two members from Chocolate. He is already down. What are you going to do? They did manage to make landfall onto this, but that's already an advantage. Circle pops, and the rest of Dodge oh, might be able to make run down to this, but Corsac goes down. Oh no, Corsac got shot in the back by Snakers, dropped to about 1 HP, and it, it felt like Dodge Corsac could have had a shot, a shot at that one, but yeah, here comes the crash from Dodge. Now keep in mind, Finna still up on the high ground. This is just going to be a Hikerman and Ethan crash here. The reset coming out from Chocolatitas just made it to where Dodge can run down into this area. Peak does have some vision into this and shooting at the back side oh, of it, but not enough to cause a problem. Hikerman already getting Necro down. It's going to be Ethan on a different angle going down from HVZ. With a mute. And this is, uh, this is getting really, really messy. We talked about the fact that this was already compacted in. 22 is also moving into a position just to the north of this and is going to have a sight line. This is 22. They may opt into jumping into this, but I think that they're just going to use the distraction to maybe go to those hills just to the west of where Sonics was at. But taking out Dodge early could give them the capabilities to start trying to close that gap. In the distance, Eos Gurry, we were talking about. You can see that's going to be BBB as well as TX Clusera. It's already down behind this. Keenan still continuing to do some damage in her. Lax is going to take him down as well. This firefight area is still not quite over because Rumblish is going to be coming in south. Eos, Guri, Bing Bang, Booms, Gats going to be trying to take the shots into Baki, but this is a lot of blue zone fighting. Roth now cresting up the top of it. Get a spot on Baki and take go. him down. There you go, Big Bang Boom. I mean, this is a, yeah. I mean, they're getting a couple of kills here, but this is not the fight that they really wanted. I mean, they are stuck out in the blue. Everything's not looking too great as Gats will uh, go down. down. Ethan gets knocked, so that opens up the door now for Chocolate. This is trying to go for the push, but they don't want to risk it. Grenade came down. Get out of there, boys. Oh, okay. We're, fine. we're good. Fine. Okay, so now we can close off this fight for right now. Uh, we'll go back to what's happening in the different sections of this. Bing, bang, boom, still out in the blue. Eos Guri is going to collapse in more to the west. To the south of this, we still have Rumblers and 4 p.m. that are also pretty stacked on top of each other. Uh, Fumba still need to make a path in the circle as well as Wildcard. LG and Synergy also going to need to collapse in from the north. So there's not a lot of territory into this one, so BBB is going to just try to send it right next to Synergy, and that is never going to work. Uh, as the circle gets smaller and smaller, now those walls that provided so much safety are going to start strangling you as people can start peeking over into it. Synergy, all four in vehicles on the move right now as we see United keeping eyes on Fiumba. They've got to go somewhere, but Sonic's just crashed right into Synergy, and they're going to immediately find two. Ooh, Danny now in the last war. Danny and Sills it's still up here. They're going to try to get something as mine will get spotted it out. Tickle Tick going to go push in, but TM's Juarez will do damage from range, but just like that, Synergy goes down. Good hold from Sonics, and they only take one knock in the process, so not opening any doors. Yeah, and uh, Eos Guri did uh, slide in right into the position that we saw Synergy at just a moment ago, so that eastern area for Sonics being pretty rough. As, uh, they'll rejoin the rest of their squad. He's there. Going to get spotted out by Kurt. No... Target rich environment right now for Kurt. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this oh, is. Wild this card is. coming in onto Troglodytus right now, just crashes into it. Duo coming on top, but using the outer wall, not making the full commit into this. I like play it patient, try to force them away because most teams will retreat away from that wall crash, and then you can just sweep in and have some more space to kind of work around. Trying to see if they can. For a little bit more utility, oh, nice oh, bounce oh, from Brick Shot. Oh, oh. And that's going to find Posa in the middle of that compound. But they know this is a full team over here. They've had eyes on this the whole time. Posa easily wiped out now as Wildcard now secures a foothold. It's a slow and steady push. We saw it coming out before him, but Purdy from that high ground. He's got the vision into this. Adam also now going down as well. Troglidi is holding their defensive line. And what looked really good for Wildcard just a few seconds ago is now starting to look like a problem. Oh, but they cleared out Troglodytus real quick here. Adam does get flushed. So that, uh, they do lose one in the process, but all, I mean, look, 
Crashing that I, compound was always going to be hard. The fact that they only lose one, that's actually huge. But that's also meaning oh, the fact LG. that everything is now stalled out. LG is just now sending it down into TM's positioning. This isn't even in the circle. This is just a hunt for kill points. This is this is LG, I think, reading the situation, understanding that TM Solve is in this spot, knowing that they're down to just two. Pretty Curdy got the shoddy, the pumpy in hand. As we see, Fiumba getting taken out in the kill feed. They would love to clean this up a little bit quicker. Sonic's still just staying in their compound, not really flexing out from this, so LG has time. This was a quick run oh, no, in Purdy Curdy now going down. Luminosity wanting to play this slower and get some more information is going to cost them Purdy Curdy. But now more information is going to happen. Oh, this Penta is going to go down. Was looking to the left instead of the right. But Luke's going to at least be able to follow up with some more. Tokyo Manji Gang does go down. Penta should be able to get rezzed. But that blue zone is going to be coming in right any second. Really, really nice from LG there. Unfortunate that they lost Purdy Curdy. He lost that 1v1 by about 5 HP. And uh, he ends up paying with it, uh, paying his life for it now. Is Luke 12 going to go back to where LG previously was? Meanwhile, E United they have started to take it over to 22 after cleaning up Wildcard. Yeah, Wildcard leaned right into the center. In between the two of them, now E United is trying to capitalize more off that. Gizera already down. So if you're going to try to make a play, this would be the opportune moment for it. Rillo is still behind, looking at what's going on with the remnants of Fiumba and 4 p.m. But the action to the north is we're going to be the pivotal section for it. Hazton just hiding inside the smokes right now. Now in that blue zone, talked about it. It's going to be a problem, and LG taking a ton of damage off of it. Penta going to go down again, and Alo still trying to move forward, but it's going to be E United that is just decimating this lobby. E United cleaning up from the south side. Good eyes on them. Clean up LG instantly. It's down to just Hayes 10, who is, just, I mean, he's hiding in any little ridge line he can find. Meanwhile, they did leave Rello on the south side, keeping eyes on Fiuma on 4 p.m., uh, just playing his life on that side while they come over here and clean up what's left of 22. Shots around the smoke, down to 33 HP for Hayes 10, but the blue has arrived. Maybe go down. Don't give away the point. I think that's the plan. Yeah. I mean, he knows it's a United. Don't give them any more points if you're trying to catch him. Now, moving into our top four, we've got Sonics that are going to be to the northeast. Guri with two members still up, and it's going to be Fumba's Emmy as well, moving into Rillo's positioning, and I don't know if that's going to go in his favor. He does have the shotgun, <laughs> but, I mean, Rello's just on the other side. He has stepped away, and I think that he knows, so E-United's going to be sweeping in from the south as looks like Sonics have their eyes set on Eoscuri. Yeah, they spotted them just on the other side as Sonics finally have to leave their compound and spread out, mostly just because they want to get kills at this point. I mean, there's just not a whole lot of points left on the board. If Sonics wants them, they got to come out and feed and Emmy just waiting to see any helmet peek up over the top here. That pumpy or double barrel ready to go. Doesn't matter, Rello. Gets him in the headshot immediately. And now it is down to a 4v4 United versus Sonics at Aos Guri. There are a number of teams vying for it. Meanwhile, Aos Guri, six kills. Good performance from them yeah. so far. Uh, but they, like you said, they are outside a circle. They are pretty much dead to rights I here. I mean, they only have Tickleton and Snakers both looking at them while That's they have all. to move. That's fine. It's gonna no big deal at all. So Kickstart Snakers gonna go ahead and take down one. And then Faison, where are you gonna go? Faison, he's just kind of stuck there. This is this is the battle of destiny, though. Let's get to it, as the Blue Zone is going to claim the last one. Straight up, 4v4, as you were talking about. E United trying to catch up want. to Sonics to see if he can maybe get an off angle here. Now, Kickstart does have that arm in hand, so that is a little bit scary. I'm not sure if he's taken a shot yet, and if Sonics actually know that he's got it. They're going to know that Snakers has Snaker. the Groza, though, as he finds Mime. But there you go. The angle from Shrimzy will force Flood back. I love this, the three-point line. Flood was playing one angle, and E United just comes in like a wolf pack. All of them, shoulder to shoulder. Defensive line steps in, continuing to tear down Sonics. Now sitting at 11 kills. It is just Trimsy running out in the middle of nowhere. He's going to go ahead and take himself out, try to deny the point, and does. 12 kills for E United on our first game. I play my dick, it's the apple time So I can fuck my world for 72 hours